This brief presentation is based on my doctoral research and the experience of teaching hundreds of international students for a University of California's language and culture program. It can be a challenge for a teacher of international students to get them to interact beyond their seating groups as they tend to cluster by nationality. It can also be a challenge for an instructor to effectively teach with such a diversity of nationalities and learning styles in a common classroom. Thus, the problem this study addressed is that teachers in international courses are frequently not able to accommodate the wide range of cultural variations among a growing diversity of international students. Numerous citations in my dissertation support this research, which is available at the website www.mr.us. Some of the most practical examples of themes and images that transcend cultural differences may be found, of all places, in television commercials. In my international communications courses, we look at commercials from around the world. Such advertisements are one of the most efficient forms of communication ever devised, in my opinion. They are little quantum packets of information, demographically resonant and necessarily concise. In a typical course on communications, we'll view more than 100 commercials from around the world, such as this one from Sweden for a brand of disposable diapers. Over the years of teaching international students, I noticed that certain commercials, such as the one we just saw, often gets the students interacting within their own seating groups, but more importantly, it gets them talking beyond their cultural seating groups. And my question was simply, what's going on here? Which led to my doctoral research into what sorts of themes and images might create a positive transcultural resonance within an international classroom comprised of diverse nationalities and cultural backgrounds. And furthermore, how might any resonant themes and images be applied in practical course design? Since 2001, hundreds of international students have taken my courses taught at an international language and culture program provided through a California university. These students have come from dozens of countries, and the majority of students have come from culturally distinct countries, including Japan, South Korea, Turkey, Brazil, Germany, and Italy. For the study's research, a total of 47 students participated in a formal, reliability-tested survey representing 11 countries. The students viewed video clips and rated their opinions on a simple 7-point Likert-type measurement scale. The images and themes that scored high on the scale with a low level of variance indicated a positive resonance, and high levels of variance indicated a dissonant reaction to a clip. Well, not too surprisingly, the cocktail party taboo topics of politics, religion, and sex scored for creating discord or dissonance, or a neutral and different reaction in the classroom as did attempts at humor, which just don't translate well between cultures. Now, there may be times when an instructor might want to inject some dissonance in the classroom to encourage debate and discussion, or encourage some indifference just to calm things down. However, our focus here is on the themes and images that may create a positive resonance, or a sense of shared experience in the classroom. And a little later, we'll consider how those findings might be applied to course design. Well, if there is one most universally uniting cultural commonality, it's the appeal of babies. And it ranked as the number one most transculturally resonant measure in the study. And here is one of the highest scoring baby clips in this commercial from France.
An old rule in advertising is to put a dog in your commercial if you want broad appeal across a large audience. And this proved true in this study as well, with animals ranking high in student resonance close to that of babies. Here's a sample high-scoring clip from Singapore. Range has arrived. Love, marriage, rifts between partners and siblings. In this study, it's a theme that transcended cultural differences, especially those that illustrated a conflict between mates, as in this clip from Mexico. The international students often seem unified in their love of sports, especially for soccer or football, as it's called around the world, even beyond provincial rivalries. And this is sometimes referred to as the international spirit of the World Cup, for example, or the spirit of the Olympics, where excellence becomes the measure. And here's one of the highly ranked sports clips, this one from Poland. In the spirit of the World Cup, IDEA connects all soccer fans by giving away for free the national anthem as a ringtone. Self-image is one of the more abstract themes in this study. We all have a self-image and appreciate that others have a self-image of themselves. We may not understand or relate to that image, but there does appear to be a transcultural interest in the self-image of others. And here is a highly rated clip describing how the Canadians perceive themselves. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm not a lumberjack or a fur trader, and I don't live in an igloo or eat blubber or own a dog sled. And I don't know Jimmy, Sally, or Susie from Canada, although I'm certain they're really, really nice. Uh, I have a prime minister, not a president. I speak English and French, not American, and I pronounce it about, not a boot. I can proudly sew my country's flag on my backpack. I believe in peacekeeping, not policing, diversity, not assimilation, and that the beaver is a truly proud and noble animal. The tooth is a hat, the Chesterfield 